This video shows how to embed something in your Blackboard course by using the HTML embed code. So in the content editor toolbars, there's this HTML button. So what happens is you go to the outside source, you grab the embed code, and then you pull it in using, and you just paste it into the WYSIWYG editor, the, the Blackboard content editor, using this HTML button. So I'm going to do this in a new folder. And so I'm going to, to show two examples, one using a blank page and one using an item. So I've, first example, I will embed a, a Padlet using a blank page in Blackboard. So on the Blackboard side, I'm going to turn edit mode on. And then I'm going to create a blank page. So build content, blank page. And I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to call it Embedded M -B -E -D -D, Padlet. And then the only thing I need to do in here in Blackboard is to click that HTML button and then paste in the code. So I need to go to the Padlet to get the embed code. So things, so here's my Padlet I'm going to pull in. Various things on the web have their embed codes in different places. It's usually under some, an option called Share. So on Padlet, I click the Share link, opens up this side menu, and you may notice one of the options is Embed in your blog or website. So that's the embed code. So I'm going to click that, and I'm just going to copy that mess of text. It says copy and paste this code in the text editor of your website. So that's the text I'm grabbing. Copy, and then bring it over here to Blackboard click the HTML button and paste and then update and it looks weird now it's just a big yellow box and you can resize it if you want but I'll just leave it as it is it takes the whole screen and submit and so let me turn edit mode off so when the student clicks the link to that blank page, I remember a page is just one separate thing off by itself, that separate thing off by itself is this embedded Padlet. So this is this working with a Padlet here, you notice I've got that kinetic uh, comment to it, you know, working in it embedded here is the same as if going to the website where it lives and working with it there. So that's the real Padlet live interactive on my Blackboard page. Second example I'll show, I'll create an item, so edit mode on, build content, item, and I, this time I'll do a YouTube video, so in embedded YouTube video, I'm going to do the same thing, go grab the code and then come back here and paste it, so in YouTube, so say this is the video I want to share in my class. Every YouTube video right underneath it has this share option. That's where you go to copy the link, but notice right above that there's this embed option. And again, this is the code I'm going to copy. So I just hit copy. That's been copied to the clipboard. And I come back over here into Blackboard, hit the HTML code view button on the text editor paste that code in and again I get my weird looking yellow box until I hit submit and I can if I want select it and maybe center it submit and then the YouTube video has been pulled in embedded on the page the student all the student has to do is click to play the video it is there in my Blackboard course. So two examples of embedding something in Blackboard using an embed code.